Hello, random internet viewer. I received a question uh, about what kind of material can be used for the Kozarev mirror. Okay, do they have to be aluminum? Does it have to be shiny? Let me explain a little bit about what it's doing, and then hopefully that'll answer some of the questions. So the Kozarev mirror is a spiral in the shape of either Fibonacci. You could do a golden spiral. Those are hard too. Purpose of the spiral is to collect ambient, non-electrical energy, collect it into a spiral, which then in increases its frequency because it's bouncing back as it goes down. It starts to bounce back faster, faster, faster until you get to the middle of the spiral. This works in the exact same way that pyramids work. The only problem with the pyramid is you have to be really big and you have to have the right angle of the size, which is why the pyramids all over the world are usually pretty big. Same thing, it collects ambient energy, concentrates it, and allows it to be used. Same thing with the mirror. <clears throat> so if you imagine energy going, all the energy, as it hits that spiral, it starts to spiral around, gets faster and faster and goes. So that's its purpose. You can use any material, but aluminum is non-reactive. Aluminum is thin, easy to work with, and fairly light. The pyramids were made of stone. So you can use stone if you want. It's going to be a lot harder, but you can do it. So again, almost any material you want, aluminum is the best just because of its properties. And if you make it shiny or if you polish it, that will help a little bit. We don't know how much, we haven't tried it. And obviously the bigger you make it, the more energy is going to be. Ideally, this would be a, a Nautilus spiral. I don't know how to make that. That's really hard. That's an advanced manufacturing technique that will become in the future. But right now, Spiral is good enough. Now eventually we'll do a five foot one. Right now we're only doing a 10 inch high one because we wanted to test out. But when we start modifying and making it better, we're gonna probably polish it up and we found some dielectric mirror. It's a dielectric mirror material. It's very thin sheets of highly reflective covering. It's like it's like saran wrap almost. Um, I'll put a I'll, I'll picture here and I'll, I'll put a link down below where you can maybe find some. We were gonna try some of that, see if that works any better. Um, but again, since nobody else seems to be doing this and the papers are really kind of pathetic, we have to do it all from scratch, figure out which way to do it, make it easy for you guys to make, and, you know, let you know, hey, is there any issues with this? Is the fear thing an issue? Are you going to go insane by going inside of it? You know, all that kind of stuff. So basically, it's an energy collector and concentrator. Any material, but you want to use something non-reactive, dense, something that the energy can just be collected upon, as opposed to just flowing through like cardboard would be, or, you know, cloth. So I hope that helps a little bit. Let me know if you have any more questions.